Hey guys, James Holling said here, IFBB Pro. You're gonna join us today for an arm workout. Due to request. A lot of you guys have been asking, how do you make your arms bigger? How do you improve your arms? So today we're gonna go through a very decent arm workout and uh, give you some pointers, some tips, and hopefully help you progress your own arms as well. So let's get involved. Let's make some arms. Let's do it. All right guys, exercise one. I like to warm up my arms with a cable exercise. Just I don't want any heavy impact to start, so we're gonna do some uh, tricep press down. We're gonna use the V-bar attachment and uh, basically just focus on nice fast press, slowly centric. So we're gonna do three sets, one warm up, one moderate set, and then one loading set, okay? So basically just progressively heavier each time. The V-bar is very easy on the wrist. Straight, a lot of people have issues with the wrist run straight out the bottom. So if you have the V-bar, it kind of keeps the natural curvature between, you know, the joints. It stays pretty fluid. It doesn't cause any issues or any overstress. It's that amino synergy. Ooh. So, exercise two. We're gonna now go into overhead movement. We're coming away from the cables. We're gonna use some free weights. We're gonna use two dumbbells. So it's gonna be a dual dumbbell overhead extension. So basically, this chair here, this butte, Nice and upright, shoulders up and back, elbows behind the head, driving the dumbbells up as high as we can, and then lowering them as much as we can. Try not to let the elbows come in, try and keep them wide. Hitting the long head now, give these triceps some bulk. Again, same principle, kind of like a couple of feeler sets, and then one all out working set. And um, yeah, that's all you need. If you hit it correctly and you hit it right, you shouldn't have to do too much volume. There's no rush into your working set. Make sure that you're primed and ready because you've got one opportunity to make that set count. So do as many warm-ups as you need, typically two. Get the movement feeling right. Setup is the most important thing. If your setup's wrong, the movement's wrong and you won't get anything out of it. So use those warm-ups as a, um, a setup establisher, basically. So you want to be able to say to yourself, okay, the warm-ups allowed me to put my muscle into the position that it needs to be in order to get the most out of it. Um, because if you go straight into a working set, you might get it wrong, and then you've wasted the set. Because it's still going to be intense, but it's going to be intense in the wrong places. So accuracy, guys, accuracy. Breathe. Make sure you breathe, guys. The only thing that's going to let you push hard off for the next one is the oxygen in your body. Absolute failure, that's what we want. Quite frankly, quite honest with you, I'm in two minds. We have a dip machine, um, which is great, but I have done dips earlier in the week. Fortunately, they have an assisted dip machine. So I can actually still do dips, but without overtaxing my tricep and keep it very isolated. So we're gonna use the assisted dip I'm actually gonna do a superset, so I'm gonna do the assisted dip, okay, into a regular EZ press down. And it's just gonna be one set to failure.
couple of cheat reps just to finish. So, um, I'm a fan of single dumbbell curl, seated. As you know, you've probably seen me do it a few times. They have the machine variation here, so I'd love to give that a go while we're here. So this is more for me just to do something slightly different than I normally do, but it's the same exercise. Nice, so that's just the warm up. Um, probably have one more warm up, and then we'll find our working weight. And again, we're going to do rest balls. So, be prepared to put some intensity into this set. Hammers now, gonna work a little bit of the um, outer bicep. On this one, I'm gonna do one set rest pause. It's, it's a completely rest pause workout. That way it means you're not in the gym for too long and you get the intensity that you need. One more exercise to do. Same thing as before, it's gonna be about blood flow. So we're gonna use a cable, and we're just gonna basically fill them up with blood, and then uh, get ready to recover. that's pretty much a wrap on that one. Really good workout, so I suggest trying it, especially if you're someone that wants to bring up your arms. Don't overtrain them, stimulate, don't annihilate, like Lee Haney said. <laughs> I'm James Honingshead, IFBB Pro, cage muscle athlete, and this is how I train arms. <laughs>